Hey up everybody, I'm going to move on to the next part of my steam cylinders uh, that, I'm, that I'm making. Um, uh, in this part then I'm going to machine the passageways into the uh, cylinder bores that meet the ports. And I'm going to be using this wooden block that I uh, used to do my last set of cylinders when I did my meter made. So I'll move over to the milling machine then and uh, we'll have a look at this. Right, just a, a quick brief explanation here. I'm saying quick and brief because I've already done a video on this when I did my meter made. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description and I'll put a, a reminder somewhere up here for a full description if I'm not quite covering everything on this on this video. So here's the drawing then. You've got two inlet ports, one either side the exhaust port and then this has got to be joined with the passage from that port to the edge of the bore and I, de I determined from my last video that that were 20 degrees that angle then looking on the other face which you can't see on this drawing it's also got to come in at 12 and a half degrees so what I've done then I've cut this block of wood, squared it all up cut it at 20 degrees so that's giving me my first angle that way 20 degrees then I've drawn two lines on this block at 12 and a half degrees one each way so the reason the, the lines are both drawn both ways is because when you put your cylinder on this block it's got to be in one direction for one side and then when you turn it over it's opposite so it's got to go the other way for this side and I get that right that way then that way then what I've done just to visualize where that slot is I've I've come off with all my lines where the slot is that way that way this way I've put the depth of the slot in and then where these lines intersect on this face I've drawn two lines at 12 and a half degrees to project downwards and that's telling me where, where my drill is going to come into so that's leaving me approximately three quarter of an inch there to get three three sixteenths holes in to come into the bore here once my cylinders on that block of wood imagine my squares, my drill coming down perpendicular I've got room to put three three sixteenths holes into this without catching the cover holes and looking at it that way it'll come down that way look from the edge of the bore down to the slots. I'll put a flat on this portion of the bore just to get my drill started perpendicular so it don't wander off. Okay then I'm just doing this a little bit different to, to when I did my meter made. In this block um, I uh, put two fixing holes to fasten it to the table. So this time I've just got the block in the vise and I've put a stop on this front face to stop it twisting I've still got it clamped the same onto the block um, so that's set now so there's my perpendicular line I'm not sure if you can see that on camera that's the bottom of the slot and that's my perpendicular line so I've got that in line with the spindle that way then if we just move over to this view 90 degrees here's my perpendicular lines at that 12 and a half degree angle machine a flat on the edge of this bore and that's to enable me to get my drill started without it ru running off, you know, in, in a different direction.
Well that worked out well didn't it, uh, but obviously I've had a practice at this on my meter main so I knew exactly what I were doing here. Uh, if I've missed any details off on this just take a look at my meter made videos, a couple of videos and I've shown it in a bit more detail than this, especially uh, the explanation I did on the workbench. So obviously on this video I've clamped it differently, I've used my vice and different stop. But there's always more than one way to do anything in machining, isn't there? And if anybody tells you that you're doing it wrong, you're perhaps just not doing it their way. So uh, just do it your own way. Uh, so what I'm going to do then, I'm going to, while it's set, I can put the other cylinder on this, this way round, on this hand if you like. Uh, do that one, then I can change my setting to the, well it's like a mirror image, isn't it? I can change the setting over and do them both the other way then. So I'll get them done then, then we'll reconvene over on workbench. That's it then, jobs are good and got them all completed now. Just one thing I overlooked when I did the covers, uh, with this uh, with this spigot is, you have to mill or grind just a little radius into this spigot to match up with the um, steam passages, so that when it's uh, connected to the bore, it just gives that a bit of extra. area for the steam to come through. You can still see it there, well I can anyway, I don't know if you can, uh, you can still see the um, where it's entering the cylinder but it just helps it along if you just take that radius slightly off to match that. I'll move on to the uh, valve chest next, then once I get that to get those machined up I can use them as a jig to mark the holes on the cylinders and then the cylinders are more or less completed then. Um, so uh, if you found that useful, informative, interesting etc etc give me a thumbs up and a subscribe I'd appreciate that. 
and I'll catch you up next part to this then. So I'll sign off for now, thanks for watching, bye for now.